I'm still in the middle of nowhere, Nevada, looking for an old ghost town. Come along with me as I show you this fascinating place. Greetings. Hey, still in the same area as in the last video and the same problem as the last video. I don't have my regular camera with me, so I'm using my phone to make these videos. And so the quality is not going to be quite as good. But uh, while I was in the area, I wanted to take you around Marietta. Uh, I did a video on Marietta about four years ago, but it was one of those videos that... I do where it's basically a slideshow and I don't talk at all. So I didn't give you any of the history of Marietta. So on this video, I'm going to take you around and I'm going to actually tell you about the history of this town. Marietta became a town in 1877, but the valley had been a source of salt and borax for years. At its height, there were 150 people, 13 saloons, and several stores in Marietta. The stagecoach was robbed on a regular basis. One week in 1880, it was robbed four times in one week. This is one of the few structures that we actually know what it was. This was a general store. This house was still occupied until recently. Uh, as later on, you'll see outside that there's a modern satellite dish outside. I'd, so I would say that satellite dish was probably installed in the early 2000s, not the late 90s. So you can also tell by the olive green carpet that that was laid down probably in the 1970s. I would know this because I was alive at that time and I remember people that had that horrible color carpeting.
borax operation shut down in the 1890s because a higher quality borax was found in Death Valley. Gold and silver prospecting in the Excelsior Mountains to the north kept things going for a little while longer, but eventually the town did die out. So that's it for Marietta. It was an interesting little town for the time that it was here. Uh, it was actually occupied for over a hundred years, so not too bad for being in the middle of nowhere. So until next time, take care. Thank <laughs> you.